An Introduction to Combined Heat and Power, CHP, or Cogeneration, by John Greenler from the Wisconsin Energy Institute of UW-Madison. Traditionally, electrical power and heat for warming buildings are generated separately. Both of these processes involve energy losses, mainly in the form of heat, into the atmosphere. When these two processes are joined, combined heat and power, or CHP, the amount of lost energy is greatly reduced. This increased efficiency is largely due to the ability to utilize the heat produced from electrical generation. One analysis shows that energy losses can be reduced from 44% to 20% or more through this process. This is over a 50% reduction in wasted energy. The disadvantage for CHP is that it needs to take place close to the source of use for the heat. Heat is hard to transport. Electricity is not. So, to work, CHP plants must be inside a city or similar. CHP plants are more common in Europe as compared to here in the United States. CHP plants can be designed with aesthetic considerations in mind, as demonstrated by the MIDI plant in central Berlin, Germany. This plant can utilize up to 90% of the energy embedded in the fuel.